the propagation of an action potential down an axon of a neuron. This is a neuron and this is an axon. A neuron transmits nerve impulses across an axon, and an axon is a long thread-like part of a nerve cell by which impulses are conducted. An axon potential, which is the passage of an impulse along the membrane of a cell, occurs on a neuron, on the axon, and on the axon. This all happens on the nodes of Ranvier, which is a gap between the myelin sheath of a nerve. This is sodium, and this is potassium. Sodium is on the outside of the cell, and potassium is on the inside. Right now, sodium and potassium are on localized current because they are restricted to one area. It is this way because of the sodium-potassium pump. These right here are sodium voltage-gated channels, which is a protein that allows sodium ions to flow down their electrochemical gradient across the cell membrane. A length constant is the distance that a potential membrane will dual travel along a passive electrical conduction. When the cell membrane is at resting potential, both sodium and potassium channels are closed, and the inactivation gates are open after depolarization begins. This makes the membrane potential more positive, which will cause voltage-gated sodium channels to open. As sodium moves across the membrane, the voltage-gated potassium channels, which is a channel for the passage of potassium ions, and its job is to recover the nerve fiber membrane at the end of the action potential, opens, but at a slower rate. Depolarization happens because more sodium ions go into the cell, the potassium ions come out. The inactivation gates of sodium start to close and sodium ions begin to slow down. Potassium channels stay open and move along the cell. This will last to bring membrane potential back to its resting level. Lastly, both gates close re-establishing resting potential. The rate at which action potential propagation occurs can be found by first increasing the diameter of an axon. When this happens, the membrane resistance, which is a measure of the transmembrane flow of ions, decreases, making everything pass through quicker and easier. Because of the increase in the action potential, conduction velocity, which is the speed at which electrochemical impulse propagates in a neuron pathway, explains why big axons are larger than slower ones. Another way is by increasing the distance along the axon. This is proven by the myelination of axons. This is when oligondrocytes, which are the production of myelin in the central nervous system, also known as a CNS, and swan cells, which are cells that form spiral layers around a nerve fiber between two nodes and forms a myelin sheath consisting of inner spirals in the peripheral nervous system, a part of the nervous system known as PNS. Neuroglia is a connected tissue of the nervous tissue which communicate and provide important biochemical support to neurons in the CNS. Action potential generation only happens at the nodes of Ranvier. This continues to happen all along the axon and only at the nodes. This propagation is known as salatory conduction, which means action potentials move along myelinated axons from one node of Ranvier to another. Another propagation is continuous conduction. Continuous conduction is faster and the nerve impulse travels down the whole unmyelinated neuron. This was my video of an action potential down an axon of a neuron.